no, you've all got it wrong. The Collector is actually part of the Fey world, and Fey shit is stuff you don't want to mess with. One minute you're having a good time enjoying yourself, and the next thing you know, you're dancing yourself to death in a toadstool. If you're so desperate to be going after the Fey, you might as well just step down now. Adi de Rocho, episode 11, Perfectly Average. Opens on Jamie, Funk, and Tamara running back to the van, and the last thing they see on the screen is Marlin's pasty butt going inside a mirror. There's blood dripping down the lenses on the glasses, as you can tell some bad stuff just happened. I don't know a lot about stuff, but I don't think that's normal. No, that's not great. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, hold on. You see Funk run over. There's like two different feeds. There's like the live feed and the one being recorded. He starts to like rewind the feed, goes a bit too far ah! back. Uh, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Has Jamie seen... No. Oh! No. Like, in person? Not even porn? Or, like, or any, pornography? Like, which is fine. I, Jamie has accidentally stumbled upon some things in corners of the internet, but very quickly cro- closed it and yeah. went, ah! And so the same thing just yeah. happened. You for sure just saw uh, Marlon having sex. Uh, and then he, like, fast forwards, like, back and then gets on the point where you see Marlon turning around and then, like, blood splattering. You don't get, like, full angles of it. You see Ronnie, like, getting pulled in. You see, like, this long stretched out arm like coming from the mirror and you see like the end of it where like Ronnie's getting pulled in and Marlon's trying to like pull him back and you see Marlon like grabbing his bag and getting like pulled in. Why is his shirt on? Jamie, that's not the thing that you should be concerned with right now. We gotta be concerned. So Marlon's gone too. Obviously, yes, he's mirror dimension, but also they're gonna know we're here now. Who? They who? Funk had to shoot that guy. Funk's like, yeah, that's my bad. I uh, I did I did shoot that man. But also, I, they're probably gonna have some problems inside as well. What do we do? We gotta go get Marlon. We gotta make sure he's safe. Funk pulls out his gun. He's like, our cover's already blown. We just gotta, we gotta go in there gun blazing. Does Jamie have any weapons left over from when they went to the worm place? You you got like fifty guns. You can <laughs> you 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 got I a lot of it. Jamie's arm to the teeth. Like that's the character that you yeah, need. So the Jamie's gonna pull out a gun too. Yeah, you took you took a shit ton of weapons. I'm following their lead though, because they have a lot more experience than me. Does Jamie have any firearms experience? Just yes. Yeah, we like, talked about this. Like, she's, oh right, right, right. Yep. No. Not like tactical sure. <laughs> but she's been like you know taken to like a, a like a shooting range and I've stuff. shot she knows, cans in the yeah, woods and, knows how to shoot you know. a gun yeah I grew up in the country. Yeah, so Jamie, you're following behind Funk and Tamara. Funk has his gun pulled out. Tamara, once again, uh, she has like these cool, like spectral looking daggers. And then one hand just kind of like glowing, ready to go. Like she's cool as shit. You see them like go to kick open the door. Jamie, you just saw sex for the first time. Now you see your first room full of massacred bodies. All of the Midnight Society, the people that you saw before, are dead on the ground. You just see blood everywhere, and especially blood is pooling from their mouths. Uh, Jamie vomits. Tamara just like puts her hand on your back. This kind of like blue light kind of glows on you, and you kind of you feel the nauseousness like suck back up. You got a little bit of a general in, yeah. She's trying to. She's like Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. I know this is hard, but we got to stick together right now. Uh, something, something bad's going on. What? Who did this? I, well, I don't, like I said, uh, and then like you're looking around and you notice a couple other bodies that not because you saw people from the Midnight Society coming in, you were like marring them, but you do see other people with like similar looking tactical vest and outfits uh, that say Hunter across them, uh, but they're also dead in the room. Everybody, everybody, 
Do I see Philip McCavity? You don't see him, but you do hear coming from, there's like a little cabinet in the back. You hear the rattling of some metal and like a. Uh, I'm gonna try to go open the cabinet. You open it and it doesn't even come close to hitting you, but like Philip McCavity just like fires the gun off and it just like shoots like right by you. Sounds loud, but like it's not even close. And like you can like his, he looks like sunken in eyes, huge pupils. And, but he also like, looked like he's like a dark sweat. And like before you would just see him, like, you know, he'd take a couple of huffs, take the mask off. The, but now he's just like straight, it's just straight nitrous. Does he have his teeth? He does have his teeth. Mr. McCavity, are you okay? <laughs> we were supposed to stop. We were supposed to stop the collector. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you need your braces off, Sh Shanigan? Um, you might want to take off your mask and, and see that. Oh, I'm sorry, did you need a little Did you need a little bit? And like he like holds up the nitrous mask for you to take a little bit. Will hit. it make me feel better? Yeah, I'm, yeah, you know, I got no problems, Shanigan. Jamie's going to take a half. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done nitrous? I had my wisdom teeth out and I had never smoked weed or drank at that point and I was like, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh shit, they've been lying to me about drugs. Wow. These are great. And this was, I this saw was, colors and everything sounded deep. This is for all you nitrous heads out there. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Jamie, you like are like looking around. You just got this weird like little adrenaline spell from Tamara. Your adrenaline on its own is like pumped up. Everything's terrifying looking. Because you just stabbed a guy also. And I stabbed a guy. I yeah. saw a bunch of massacred bodies and yeah. sex. And now I just did drugs for the first time. Yeah, you time. just did. Man, what a five minute span. Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, it's been yeah. a hell of an early after, early, <laughs> early morning for you. Uh. It's a defining, a defining time in your life for sure and you turn as you just feel the nice pulsing loveliness going through your body that is nitrous uh this is a pro nitrous podcast now um, <laughs> be careful you, you can do too much it was there's a really reason cool. doctors don't just give it to yeah, you yeah, they cut they... it they cut it with oxygen for a very good reason not not dr mccavity though and you're just looking around and ooh, that that little, that's like jam Mmm, it's just everything's covered with this like beautiful red. And Jamie, you got a little grumbly in your belly. Oh no! Horses, oh, no. horses, horses! Oh my god! Jamie, two days, nonstop talking to animals. For what? The buffet. What buffet? The buffet. What buffet at the strip club? Jamie. Uh, uh, the buffet uh, in front fish. of you right now. Take more nitrous horses, and eat these bodies. Horses. I don't want to take more nitrous. I like it, but it made me feel funny. Jamie, then just eat the bodies. How do I eat a body? Jamie, eat the bodies. And you start to feel your mouth transforming as it like starts to like grow out into like a bird-like beak with this just like these sharp fucking pointy teeth. And you just start to, this bird tongue is just coming out and you're just salivating. Why, why, you eat the bodies. I don't want to eat the bodies. Jamie. Do you want to go to D'Artagnan? Yeah, I want to go see your D'Artagnan. Jamie, how's it going? Hi, D'Artagnan. Yes, me, D'Artagnan. I miss you. I feel really weird. So Jamie. much is happening right Jamie. now, and I'm scared. Jamie, don't worry. You're one of us, remember? Let's go ride. Okay. Who's this? <laughs> oh, there's a, new, there's a new horse, Jamie. Who's this new friend? You know what we always say? Every horse is a friend you just haven't made yet. It's Spot. Spot. Spot just comes out there and it's just like galloping. Like there's like this fucking pristine waterfall. It's just hitting it's down. And Jamie, pinto. you're just you're at like the you're at the base of it. So you just keep feeling water splash and hit your face. Oh, every little bit of splash on you just feels so refreshing. And you see Spot as he's just like it looks like it's too tall, but no, no, no. Spot just jumps and just it just has this beautiful horse fucking neigh and, and as he just lands in the water and Jamie it's just big splash on you <laughs> and he's a, he's a beautiful pinto and I want to pet his little pink muzzle oh my god and then it, Spot looks and goes Jamie come the water <laughs> is it cold it's very nice and warm okay 
Jamie, you start to go in the water you're wading through. It seems like there's a lot of stuff in this pond. You're kind of having to push through. There's, you know, some branches in there. It feels like there's a lot of, like, kind of slimy, squishy rocks at the bottom. That's weird, but who cares? You're there at Tartanian. You're there with Spot. You're just having fun little horse time. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's great. Also, like, you're sitting there, and Spot's like, you're hungry. No. Are you sure? Because we have all your favorites. And then he, like, shakes, and, like, what should be water come out of his body is just, like, all the James. There's scrambled eggs. There's just, there's there's all these, like, little snacks. Cream. All of it's just floating at the top of the water, but it's not getting wet and soggy. I will. I'll eat some scrambled eggs. Ooh, just picking it up by the handful. Just mm. shove it, shoving it in your mouth. Ooh, mm. these good scrambled. The scrambled eggs by the handful. Mm. Something Wild we've all dreamed water. about. <laughs> You know how horses Jamie, love eggs. You never have to leave. You can stay here with us forever. But I have to save my friends. We are your friends, Jamie. They're my friends too. I'm tired of my friends not getting along. I haven't met them yet, but I'm sure if I did, I would like them if you wanted me to. Aw, that's so supportive. Thank you. We cut back to... We're now back in the mirror dimension. <laughs> Ron, you see... Ron, you saw the collector reach his hand through this mirror and pull Ronnie and Marlin through. And both Marlin and Ronnie got real fucked up coming through this threshold. Uh, and then, like, as soon as Marlin comes back, he was holding on to Ronnie. But, like, Marlin just kind of collapses on the ground and is just, like, bleeding really bad. And you see the collector has Ronnie. What are you doing, Ron? So Ron's going to be looking around the room for something to bandage his bleeding friend with and begin to sort of try and speak softly and calm everyone down. Hey, everybody. Hey, well, it's all... Let's... Well, I know I, seems seems like a lot's going on here. I know we just we just met, and Marlon, I see you're pretty cut up, but I think... <laughs> I, I know, and I'm looking, I'm looking for some old... Oh, here's a lot of old T-shirts yeah. and dr Marlon. freshly dried socks that I believe we can use as some kind of makeshift tourniquet. Marlon, you feel terrible. Uh, everything bad is happening. You've had a range of emotions. But Ron started talking, you feel calm. Like, yeah, yeah, you're you're bleeding a lot. Yeah, you're real cut up. Yeah, he might see your dick right now, but <laughs> you're like pretty chill. And like, you feel, you trust Ron. Like he's got this. There's a sense of calm over you. Even Ronnie, Ronnie was like screaming for his life as like the fingers of the collector were just like burrowing into his flesh. But now even he's just like, hell man, you know, shit happens. That's, that's the life of a good old boy, am I right? Uh, but You're the right. collector- It's Sister Lake Lanier, you know what I'm saying? The collector isn't even, like similar to whenever they first changed, like they're not registering anything you're saying or doing. They're not looking at anybody. They're just walking away dragging Ronnie behind them. Ron, can you help him? I I mean, I can help him. Hell, or man, I can I, help. I, don't, don't bother yourself. You know, you got your friend over there. You know, we both got we both got to finish. You know, we were just on round two. It's not a big deal. You know, it's just this happened. You know, if I had a nickel, am I right? Wow, this is a long drag out to the other room. Well, that no, he's like, he's just like walking away, but like Ronnie's like being dragged, but he's so chill. He's just calm about and it. My arm's really long. So yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronnie's in shock. I'm trying to put pants on. So I grab my pants, right? Yeah, yeah, you grab your pants. Put underwear and pants on. Yeah, you, covered in blood. Yeah, you're putting them up. So I will say, the collector is just like walking away from you. It is taking you like you don't get to get up right away. You feel calm, but you're still like I'm fucking. Still like Ron, Ron, can you st help him? I mean, yeah. Hold on. Here, here, here's some. I'm uh, chill, but I'm also here, like. Here's some sheets and some uh, some various medical supplies that I'm sure were needed and very well treasured at some point, and also a shirt for what apparently is called a fun and gun fun run and gun fun family fun day. <laughs> Thank so you. here you can put this on. Let this me pour hydrogen peroxide all over my body and then put the shirt on. Thank you, Ron. Oh, of course, I'm gonna go check on your um. Yeah, I think your friend there. Yeah. yeah, this is the hiss of the peroxide. Ah, I'm already in a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that Ron doesn't mention my horrible, well, disfiguring scars. And as soon as yeah. Ron stops actively talking to you, and <laughs> you what? <laughs> you said scars. She didn't think you were gonna say scars. She thought you, she thought you were. Marlon has a normal dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the thing he's worried the about. Odds. That's canon now. That's canon. That's normal. <laughs> 
If you're one, there ain't Marlon's <laughs> statistically average. Average, penis. very average, normal, not just If I had to say one thing about well, that, Marlon. Well, now that you say that, it doesn't make me feel the as confident. The hard part about Marlon is if I saw his dick in the lineup, I could not point it out to you. I'm going to be honest. It's just, oh, wait a minute. Is, mm, was it, or, mm, I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't. wasn't it's just, can uh, I arrange y'all on a grid? There's Marlon dead center. Boom. Mm, <laughs> that's a nice run of the mill dick. What a weird show. <laughs> Anyways, this is all sticking in. Uh, <laughs> this canon. Yeah, so you're you're as, as, it's canon. It's not exactly a canon. But I mean, it's it's not. Not. <laughs> if somebody wants, if we haven't started a wiki, if, the, if not oh we, hey yeah, by the way, anyone who has like info dump time that they want to yeah, focus you, on this show, if you please want create a wiki. to start a wiki and it hasn't been made yet when this episode drops, please, dear God, let the first entry ever be that Marlon <laughs> has a very average, Good, look normal up. penis. Statistic, Marlon, vital statistics, statistically penis. size of a white average. American male Right dead penis in the size. center. It'll be the exact average. We're talking fucking porn style. Not too weird. Not too big. <laughs> just right. That's a. We're talking a lot about this dick here. Anyway, so all, I I made a one-off joke and y'all kept. Y'all. Welcome to podcasting. <laughs> it's after doing years of critical bits and keeping it way more family friendly. It's like well, that's as, just as the Marlon idea, loves so, women, we call it the, the Goldilocks. The zone. idea, the idea of just describing a dick as just so normal is, is so normal. fucking funny. As it's yeah. kind of like, yeah, I got a real average penis, and then because you three say quarters circumcised, because well, you say something like that, and then you think like, oh, so I'm gonna see his dick, and it's gonna be weird and you see it you're just like that's just like Normal. you open up a textbook and you see a picture of that <laughs> yeah yeah i know that's, that's a picture of me that's the before of you know this is what normal dicks look like and this is the after of like you got your chlamydias you got your stapled i'm not dicks. saying he's never had anything weird happen with it yeah yeah he's done weird things with his normal average penis <laughs> But it's still just I'm like, not saying it's never been cursed but he, had, he fixed it and it's normal again <laughs> It's just the other thing you can't get rid of. Marlon's lived a lot of life. <laughs> yeah. An interesting life. It's a perfectly average sized boat with a great deal of motion in its ocean. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so. I was thinking I actually wrote down <laughs> earlier. Uh, he wrote down that he has an average no. dick. Wait, I wrote, my seat doesn't have a place for that. I did not that. write that. I thought probably Marlon has a side hustle with an OnlyFans and I have OnlyFans written down on my card. So ah. a lot of people have seen Marlon's dick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Does yeah. Marlon show his face in the OnlyFans? Mm -mm. Marlon no. would never and show And not his hole. chest either. Right. No, yeah. it's yeah. very it's just, it's just the waist down. down. Yeah. Well, See, the a... world's most average wiener. <laughs> his, his his screen name is a play. It's called Bottoms Only because it's OnlyFans. So yeah, uh, yeah. What's good bottoms? Oh, bottoms. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, <laughs> not like that. He yeah, takes like, a switch. Well, that's it's, the thing. A lot of people get mad because they're like, "There's both bottoming and topping in here," and they're and you're just like, "It's a little clever thing," you know. Don't, we're talking too much about this. Anyways, yeah. so we cut back to when Mar when Marlon's starting his OnlyFans, and people are like, that's a real Thank average. Thank God this isn't a paid episode. Yeah, <laughs> real average. Imagine, but they don't mean it in a mean way. Imagine what the post show's going to be for this one. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be here average, to record it, so I will have to wait and listen. They don't mean it in a bad way, but Marlon gets really up. Upset. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Marlon just wants to feel special. He makes a lot of money, though. Anyway. <laughs> Look, a lot of people <laughs> like, like statistical. This is like this is <laughs> Uncle Riff all over again. <laughs> Data scientists love statistical averages. It's an anomaly. It's God weird how it. average it is. It's, an, it's actually it's, it's so average I can't stop thinking about it. It's just <laughs> all right. So I'm getting I confused have, with all the other dicks I've seen. On. Which one is I, it? We've given He's Marlon a shirt and Jamie. pants and drum, yeah. As soon as Ron stops talking to you directly, all of the calmness like does go away. Like you oh start, my god, and I start. Ron, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna fucking die. I know, I know, we're all gonna, I know we're all gonna die, but we're not gonna die here. No, in save this Ronnie. I'm, I'm say, I'm going to, do, I'm, go, I'm going, I'm going to save him now. We're gonna, I'm coming, Ronnie. I'm, I'm in so much pain. Stop talking at me. I, it, well, I mean, all right, but I, last time I stopped, you screamed at me. But I'm gonna go get the, I'm gonna go get your fella here. Yeah, so you start to like go after him and hey, all you need, hey, can you slow down for you, a second? You see where the collector's going, and you start to walk, and you and like you feel like you like hit a wall because then you notice like you were seeing a reflection of where he was going, and you got a real hall of mirror situation going on. Oh, not again. Well, all right, I guess. Because if you remember when he got into this room, he like walked through another like kind of like weird mirror into this room and so and you saw him like moving mirrors and doing stuff but this is also 
after his eyes got like the weird glaze over and he still has that you right now are like trying to go after the collector and ronnie but like every little Ow, avenue, my yeah, nose. you keep just like running into weird mirrored walls well i keep i mean i hold on hold on take a minute and i breathe i focus Try and recenter as worked last time. I was trying to In the in background, Marlon's just like, oh, fuck. It's just like screaming. Ron breathes deep, tries, tries, to, tries to focus, knowing he's going to get back to his friend Marlon, who's in desperate pain very soon. But he's doing something Mar Marlon asked. Yeah, so you start to breathe and kind of focus. And similar to what happened before, you do start to see like this hallway kind of form in front of you to walk down. Well, I, I being a. a sort of a servant of fate walk down the hallway yeah so you walk down you're you're pursuing the collector and ronnie uh the camera stays on marlin as like you now uh i like have a different shirt on some pants pulled up there's just blood all in it like it's just covered <laughs> in it you have like scr scra scra <laughs> scrapes and scratches all over there's scratches on top of your scars on your face i'm sure uh, my perfectly average dick also got cut up <laughs> in the <laughs> This really is a lot Finally, of pain. it has some some charm to it. <laughs> yes, but in in an exactly the same yeah. proportion that your rest of your body is, uh, and no more or blood. less. Blood, <laughs> oh, oh, ruining my nice pants. Blood, I got. I try to like hold. I really like my little satchel. I'm trying to like hold it with it. like I my try to bandage my hands, and the blood seeping through, and I'm. So you like are pulling out your satchel and like one, like you pull something out and the book comes out like a little bit and the reflections you start to see of you like all around once the book kind of like hits the reflection of that. Marlin, you start to see you dying in numerous ways. What are they? Uh, they're all very gruesome. They're all very torturous. And then uh, gunshot, rock, piano. Or is it someone knife, torturing me? Or, yeah, because all just, of these. Or is several, it all mammon? Several yeah, James all, Bond torture all the, scenarios. All the different ones that you see are like, like you don't see them directly, but you see like a reddish hand. Diabetes. You see like some like like shadows <laughs> of horns uh, and stuff like that. But like the book, like it's reflections of like. Thousands and thousands of Marlin dying cool. again and again and cool. again. Paper Not yet. cut from the book. <laughs> Got infected. Not yet. And yeah, and Not then, yet. I'm still alive. And you do. You I have five months. Yeah, and I was going to say, you do see in all of them, you see clocks on the walls, but instead of the standard 12 hours, it is for six months. And it's just like, it looks like it's like standard the, six month clock. Yeah, like we all have. six month clock you got. Uh, hell's a little different. You know, we're a little wacky down here. We got. We got six month clocks, uh, but you do see like all of them have like fully counted down. Oh, uh, so they're all like that. There's no cool ones where I'm like on a beach. No, I mean chilling. you saw different reflections of Marlin before, but as soon as the book like got out of your bag and hit any of the reflections, that's when you started seeing all the. I Marlins put it up. Dying. Do they stay? Yeah, you put it up, and then there's like one Marlin. He's on a beach. It's like it's chill, Marlin. I look at him. I think, why can't I be like that? You do see him stealing money from a child. Oh, well, what at least kind he's of not swimwear does Marlin wear? Like micro chill, Marlin. Shorts? Keep this in mind. Probably nice, fashionable. Like, not a Speedo, but just, like, tighter. Yeah. Or, like, shorter. But not, like, super short to wear it, like, yeah. European. He probably has, like, a matching, like, little, like, a matching button oh, down. Short sleeve. Oh. But, like, but it is, like, unbuttoned and open. 100%. 100%. He's not, like, he doesn't. And sunglasses that kind of match, slowly. Very expensive. Yeah. Also stolen from a child. Yeah, so they're a little yeah. small. A huh? little, little small. Uh, this Marlin particularly loves stealing from youth. I was about to say, Marlon, how, like, that's not his, like, number one. I'm not saying yeah, he they're wouldn't. rich children. Yeah, they're so rich children. He's, like, oh, he's, yeah, yeah. he's, 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 like, scamming, like, beach people. What are the other ones? Are they all still being tortured? or? No, no, no. There's 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 other Marlins and stuff. Uh, are there Marlin? any that are good people? I mean, there's probably some good Marlins. Uh, but it's, Hi, I'm the Marlin that's not kicking the puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, but you don't really, because, like I said. Are there any hot ones? I'm jealous of them if there are. Like hotter than me. You, the, I mean, I'm mad. Marlin is definitely the kind of brain worm <laughs> fucked up to where he's. They could look exactly like, like me. He, yeah, he's just kind of like, what do you think? You're fucking hotter than me. And then like, there's e like, and there's even one. Yeah, because I moisturize Marlin. There's, there's one Marlin that can see you in this version, and even that Marlin just like, what the? F that little fuck thinks he's hotter than me. Is like, I'm covered in blood and yeah, like yeah, a yeah, gun yeah, fun yeah. run shirt. And that in that reality, that mirror reality, it's real hot to be bloodied and damaged. Uh, 
that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a post-apocalyptic reality. Yeah, it's a post-apocalyptic one where there's kind of like, I don't like people unless they have physical pain. Uh, that's, you know, that's the Cenobite one. I'm imagining there's like an 80s uh, leather jacket, yeah. sunglasses at night, Marlon. Now, here's too. the one thing that's consistent throughout all. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Tom of Fenland, Marlon. Yeah, and yeah. we all know what we, his... We, uh... we all know. That's, uh, you can tell. We cut back to Jamie. You're just hanging out with, with Spot. You're hanging out with D'Artagnan. His muzzle is tickling my hand when it's I pet so, it. It's so, it's <laughs> so, so funny. Uh, and then D'Artagnan looks at you and goes... Jamie, you want a hug? Yeah. I like he gets he gets up, gives you a little horse hug. And this puts, is guy, that's that getting drawn. How Somebody's drawing that. He, I know, but I just think, but like he puts it, like his like paws on you. Not what those are called. Uh, <laughs> Does, has Joel ever seen a horse? No, I'm terrified. I don't want to be around. <laughs> Listeners. He just, <laughs> it's a horse with little cat paws that are proportionally <laughs> little beans. Yeah. He, uh, D'Artagnan jumps up and he puts his, his hooves uh, for all you horse heads out there. He horse puts, heads are called, that's that's called reverse centaurs to you, buddy. He puts his hooves on and you know that that's not how horses hug. You find it weird, but then you start, it feels like his like hooves are like shaking your shoulders. Uh, yeah. And then Jamie, you snap back too. Jamie, Jamie, what the fuck are you? What just happened? Why are you eating all these bodies? I was hanging out with D'Artagnan. You were hanging. No, I just, you were eating. You had a bird mouth and you were eating. Look, and then you look at Jamie. You were covered head to toe in blood, skin, intestines. You have like half of a liver in your fucking hand that you just like were chowing down on and you spit up a little bit. Like Jamie vomits again. <laughs> Yeah, you throw up. And Smar's like, Jesus, fuck, okay. I so think, the thing I you think, have a bond with, is uh, that what this was? Because you had a bird mouth. I think something's wrong with me. I'm, Jamie, I... I don't feel good. It's okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, this this isn't... That's going to be all the tepid blood. I think blood. The, the, the Dodo is a cassowary. And Tamar does not know who Dodo is. So yeah, she's just like, sense. are you okay? Are you going to... Do I need to... Is there... Cause fu- I, I have what? to tell you something. What? I took a huff of that nitrous. <laughs> you took a huff of the nitrous? Yeah. That's not... He said it would make me feel better, and it didn't. Well, it did for a second. Now That's I the feel thing. worse. Listen, there's a lot of things out there that are going to make you feel good for a few seconds, and it's going to make you feel worse later. You got you to gotta stick That's with the natural they say stuff. don't do drugs. Well, no, some drugs are tight, like here. And then she does hand you some weed. And she goes like, that's all <laughs> natural. I grew that myself. You're going to need do that. Do I eat it? No. I mean... <laughs> I, I can get you some edibles if you want, honey. But like, so, hey, listen, listen, listen. You got, you got to stay with me. Okay. Okay. What, what, uh, Funk, how Funk, we, how, Funk, how, Funk how? is trying to investigate back there, uh, and he walked away, and then you started to eat all these fucking. Bo- I'm not gonna tell him. Okay. I'm not gonna tell him. Okay. Don't uh, don't tell Marlon or Ron either. They I won't. Will, listen, they this, won't be my friends anymore. Oh, oh. No. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna. It's, we need to figure something else out about this. Roll to read a bad situation. Uh, that is a six. Jamie, you are just so focused on what Tamara is saying to you. Before your senses were like so ready and alert, and right now every sense is taken over of the taste of human flesh on your mouth. And the fact that even though it's gross to you, there's like a little bit of it that you like. Tamara, do you have any gum or mints or anything? You feel a knife go through your back. As as a member of Hunter that was still left semi alive saw this happen, it's like, fucking monster, you're not gonna take me like that. And Jamie, you're gonna take two harm as you've been stabbed. You see Tamara like scream and just like, throws up her hands and he gets like thrown and like up against the wall as she's telekinetically holding him. Jamie? The rage you feel inside of you is just boiling up as you see this man is just pinned up against the wall. As you start to feel the blood trickling down your stomach, going down your leg, pulling up in your shoe, and you hear in the back of your head, Jamie, you have to finish him. What do I do? And then you start to see your fingers like getting longer and sharper, almost claw-like, as he goes, use your skills. Uh, and Jamie's gonna like tilt her head down and run full force at the guy up against the wall and just slash with her hand. Yeah, you just start eviscerating him. But the thing is, Jamie, D'Artagnan's not here. Spot's not here. It's just Jamie and it's just one man 
who's getting the shit murdered out of him. And Tamara just like slowly like, like is like setting the body down and you turn and your eyes are like this weird yellow bird like as you just start to like stare at Tamara as she's just like, Jamie, Jamie, you get Jamie, it's me. I'm gonna calm down and not I think, right? Yeah, I don't want to attack Tamara. See, I'm not mad at her. I'm mad at the guy who stabbed me. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. You're just kind of, but like, you're still, you're you're actively telling yourself this, but Jamie, there's an, in, and it's not the voice of Donut. It is an instinct in the back of your head telling you to kill everybody. I'm, I'm going to kill anyone who hurts me. Anyone who stabs me, the other guy tried to stab me, and then I stabbed him. And Tamara goes, okay, that's great, that's great, that's great. Um, I'm not trying to, to hurt you. Um, this is a lot more than, that's not, I don't think that's just a cassowary inside of you. This is, this is something else. So let's just, let's just calm down. Okay. I need you to tell me, do you have any gums or mint? I, I, I don't, but there's, there's a counter over there and it looks like there's some gum. And there is like, you know, it's it's knocked over. But and there... Jamie turns like a bird, like really fast towards the yeah. counter. I think like you turn and like you even like you, you like scutter over there like super quick. And they're just like, just eating this gum. And as you're like starting to eat it and grab it, like your hands are like starting to transform back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm feeling better now. She's like, oh yeah, eat, eat, as, eat, as, much, eat as much gum as Eat as much gum as you want. And uh, I cannot process because of the whole things that just happened. It's been about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we cut over to Ron. You're following the collector down this hallway. They're pretty, they got a pretty good lead on you. They're not listening to anything you're saying. And then you do see them come to another similar domed room with a bunch of mirrors in it. And right before you can get to him you see the collector taking ronnie and just throwing him and also you've still been talking this whole time so ronnie's still very soothed by your voice he's like man this is just dang old crazy you know i mean you know <laughs> you having gay sex in front of a mirror you love to have sex in front of and the next year in a mirror world i mean you, you, i thought i know magic's real but i did not expect this but collector i just wish cover you'd me slow surprised down. i just wish you'd slow down collector i need to just want to just want to ask you some questions just want to just want to know why why i got the man by the head you know no, it's and just so easy stuff. Easy he, question. you see the collector like hold up Ronnie, and he just tosses him through a mirror. And as soon as Ronnie's like body goes through the mirror, you see the collector kind of just like slump down on the ground. And the same thing that happened before, where you saw like his body suck itself inward and then turn itself around without moving. That's all practical effects. We like said we spent the CG budget already. Yeah, practical. So you see that happening, and he shifts back towards you, and similar to where you know his back went to his front, front went to the back, uh, and his eyes are no longer glazed over, and he just falls down, and the collector is holding his face as he is sobbing uncontrollably. Oh, I'm, I'm, all right, all right, I catch him, because he seems like a real frail, but long boy. You catch him, and then you just see in your hands, like through a reflection, like you're holding the collector, but you do see a reflection of the small child you saw in that like vision at the gas station of you know what the collector used to be as you are like holding and consoling the collector hey buddy i know i know it's real so that's i know that probably wasn't you there that seems yeah, like and, he's, and he's just like sobbing and shaking his head now i know he looks worried through Ryan. I, oh yeah i look i then I, i'll do that while i'm you know you see a dentist office you see no one in it but you do see it looked like it, it, it looks like a modern dentist office or like an it does, old timey, much like, scarier it, it dentist office. It looks like office. a modern dentist office. It looks very clean. It looks very there's like blood from Ronnie in there. But outside of <laughs> that, if you don't look at all the blood, uh, that all those other parts are clean. But yeah, but you don't see anyone in it. Uh, the body was just thrown through. As soon as you look, like you see, because you can only like see, you know, from like where the mirror is. You do see that like Ronnie's body was like pulled off to the side, but you didn't see like who or what. Is that the is that the dentist in there? And then like he like he's like trying to shake his head yes, but like it's like he's like before he can like put no, his head. Oh, right. I got It's you. like physically stopped. I got you, buddy. I got it. That's all right. We're gonna. Let's let's see if we can find a place to set you down. Let yeah. you have a little. Uh, Marlon, Marlon, Run. you hear me? Right. All right, it's gonna be all right, Marlon. We're gonna. We're gonna is it? Yeah, it is. And you won't begin. It's easy to, for you to say. I mean, well, I mean, I'm trying to help, and I'm I'm helping us all one at a time. I'm I got I got bad news about over. your friend. Um, oh, he's in this dentist office over here, 
And this is the collector. He's, I'm gonna say, a little boy who was murdered in some ritualistic dentist fashion by, let's say, the dentist in there for want of. Are you? Is, is he gonna grab you? What are you? I mean, no. See, like his eyes roll back. See, look, he's got as eyes. So, as, you, as soon as you start like to ask these questions, like the collector, like kind of shimmy and like his. See, look at that little guy. His Come movement on. is like very, very fluid. As like you just kind of see him like like wrap himself and like as he's like hiding behind Ron and like his long fingers are like grasped around his shoulder as he's like barely peeking up around. The collector's way taller than Ron but far skinnier and he's just kind of like bent himself over and like he has just these long piercing black eyes that just like look like you're looking into just like endless pools of infinity. I look at him I'm like why did you just do that? I, and, he's, and he's just shaking his head no. I was I was why did you do that? That was fucked up. And he's shaking his look head. Look at Marlon, I don't think that I don't I don't think that was him. I think so. He had to, his eyes rolled. They changed, right? They rolled back, so it went white instead of black. Is it gonna it was, happen again? I, I and mean, and he, and obviously, he, we're working on that right now. I'm sorry. And he, and he shakes his head no, and like he holds up like he holds up like a finger to you. I guess it's a you know it's got a clock on it or something. You know, a time limit. One or, at a, know, one how, at how often a week a and day? And, and, he's, and, he, and he's shaking his head and he points to you. And then and he's trying to and like he has these like just long fingers you can't tell what he's doing but then once you see like he's trying to like make it look like his like thumb where is it where is it and, and then and, and then he, like he holds up a finger as he like looks around in the mirrors and then he picks up this small mirror puts it down reaches his hand through and then pulls out your lighter and then like like class like in like both hands like a child trying to just like share his favorite thing with with his new friend and like presents you like your lighter I start to reach for it then I pause and I wipe. I, my fingers are still bleeding everywhere even though they're bandaged up I wipe it on my pants mm -hmm. and I get blood all over my pants I, okay thank you yeah but I, and I, I kind of flinch I'm a little scared of him still yeah 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 like and you flinch like, and he flinches hey everybody okay, there's okay, nothing, okay. nothing to be frightened of okay, we're I take all it. Just, thank you we're yeah. all trying to make and friends here we're learning do about you want me to other. use it and, and 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 he shakes it Actually, he shakes his head no and then he just like holds out his hand like trying to say for you okay thank you I take it so and, it's, it's a nice, he's a nice fella. I mean, he's a, he's a bit long, but that's, you know, everybody. Is it, is it I'm, once I'm a day a that you do myself. that? That and, you get he, taken and, over and, once and, a week? And he shakes his, he just shakes his head no. And he looks at Ron and then does a similar thing where he's like looking through a mirror. And you see on the other side of this mirror, you do see Ron's trowel. But as it's being pulled out, you start to see it's like transforming into a number of different gardening tools. Whoa. You've never seen it do this before. And all of them have like this different like hue to it, this different tone, this different light. As like he like presents it to Ron and like does this similar thing where he's like holding out his hands for you to take it. Oh, well, I mean, well, well thank you very much. Um... Ron, wow. you, yeah, you you pick up the trowel and like you've always had this, you know, it's handy. Your you know your grandfather gave it to your father, him to you. you know, he what, never mentioned it turning into every other garden tool though. And you start you start to like hold it, and then you you look at you look at Marlon. He's he's just he's fucking wrecked. Uh, and then you you start to just think about the idea of like what's the what's the word the three claw one. Aerator? Is that what it is? Uh, there's a couple of ways, but like I think, you, yeah, it's the little, it's the the claw. It's for uh, for breaking up earth to put plants in. Yes. So you look over at Marlin and you see like the little three claw aerator, you know, gardening Alice tool. Alice is about to fucking fact check us and here. Then, and I'm about to look like an idiot. And you, it feels counterintuitive, but you do feel like because it has this like green hue around it that if you use this on Marlin, it's gonna help. Hey Marlin, you trust me? Uh. That's a weird question. I mean, look at this. Look at this green glow, though. What are you going to do with it? Just, take a step back. What are you going to do with it? Give you, just want to give you a little poke with it, I poke think. Poke me with the part that's... Turn it around. All right. I didn't... It uses the soft edge. The, Use the soft edge, the and, and it's just kind of, like, <laughs> rubbing against you. It's not really doing anything. Okay, fine. Fuck, fuck. Okay, I, like, stick I mean, my arm out. I right? Come on. I let's... stick my arm out where you can hit my and wrist. As he starts to rake this down your arm, going along the cuts and bruises that you have, you just start to see it's like rapidly healing and regenerating. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. I just gotta, it's a You can go ahead and intuitive. heal, because like you do that on one arm and then you test it on another and uh, Marlon, you can heal too. Thank arm. you. Can I see that? Yeah, sure. Will it work it? if I take it? Hand cultivator. A hand, hand cultivator. cultivator. Hand cultivator. Well, sure. It's my grandfather's hand cultivator. Can I see if I can use magic it? So, yeah, when you dealing. take it out of Ron's hands, you try to scrape yourself. You don't harm, like, it doesn't do harm, but you're like, ah, fuck. Like, it, does, it does hurt a little I bit. I was going to try to fix my dick. I'll give it back. 
I don't well, want to run. Yeah, like, yeah, Thank that's you. fair. He's like, does your dick have matching scars to your face now? It's not worth asking Ron to do it. It's too awkward, I my friend. The idea that you but there's have. two, yeah, probably. You should grow a little dick bangs to cover it. Like, <laughs> welcome to Dick Talk. So for it. Thank you, Ron. Just gently put your hand cultivator. <laughs> you all should see Allison's face right now. In real time. Marlon is, Marlon's, you know. Man, y'all are having real different times in and out of this mirror world right now. I'll tell you. He's what. like thinking about asking Ron, but he just feels like it's not that he cares that much about social graces or not. But it's just like his friend. He doesn't want to ask. What him if to, he just takes it and gives it a little? Ron's well, thinking, wow, Marlon's real, must be real shook up about the loss of his friend there. He's just sitting there, but focused, yeah, so, uh, rocking but yeah, back so and forth. You, 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 he, he like rakes it up Thank uh, you. over you enough to where you're able to heal for like all the major bleeding and stuff stops. Oh, I feel so much better. Here, this docking shirt seems like it was well loved and has less blood on it. Thank you, I, I trade about. So, collector, Is that are you right? the collector? What are we calling you? Are you collector? Colin? Col Col he, sh he, sh he shakes his head. Collector, all right. How do we help you? And then he like opens his mouth and then you see what Ron saw before. All of his teeth have been removed along with his tongue. Do we need to find your teeth? And he shakes his head, yes. And they're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that, that that is a dentist who seems like he'd be yeah. doing that kind of work. He, he shakes his head, yes. And any, I just want to throw it out there. Any idea why you... you Sort of went. Your eyes rolled back, and you threw that feller in there. You he, remember any of that? He puts his he puts his head down and shakes his head no, and then yes. That's I understand that this is a difficult line of questioning. That's kind of abstract for what we've got. I think for, he means he does remember it, but he doesn't know how it happens. And he points to Marlon. There we go. Thank you, Marlon. <sighs> Context clues. It's fantastic. So, well, I mean, I guess at this point we got to go that. And uh, thank you for the trial, by the way. I'm very happy to have this back, and I know Marlon was real worried about the real yeah, worried about you. his lighter. And this you, will probably you're come in handy. And like one of the reflections you do see, you it's not that you're now seeing all the different Rons. You're seeing all the different generations that this has passed Aww. down through. Because you're seeing you're seeing like Ron's family with it, but you're also seeing people you don't know or recognize, like wielding this kind, like wielding this trowel in different forms and versions. You see all the different like you know generations that have like wielded this weapon. Or something similar and marlon you can see this too ron when you start talking about how you need to go into the mirror with like the dentist office the collector like gets in front of it and starts shaking his hands no how do we get your teeth back and then should we move away from this mirror so he can't hear it okay. and he shakes his head yes i tap my head like and then he does like a little like finger on his mouth and just like a shh and then like uses two fingers to try to show like little, two super long yeah, two, squidgly two super fingers. fingers that he's trying to like show like sneaky I, if I take my lighter out, what do the reflections do? Uh, the I'm not using it, but... The reflections when you're holding the lighter, similar to how Ron saw everyone that has like, used this trowel, you start to see all the different people that have had in possession of the lighter. But in some of them, it's not a lighter. It's different variations of like a weird like imp summoning stone. Ah, cool. I'll put it back. We cut back over to Jamie. Uh, you've you've been eating a lot of gum. <laughs> uh, you like you got stabbed. It's not it's not feeling great. Tamara was still like trying to just calm you down, and then Funk comes back in. He's like, "Well, I couldn't find any trace of holy shit. Why are all the bodies eaten?" Mm. And then Tamara just t looks at him and goes, uh, "We it's, uh, that guy attacked, and that's you know. Anyways, Funk, we gotta we gotta move because they're definitely they're definitely gonna be coming. Uh, this this was not the, this wasn't great. He stabbed me. Who stabbed you? That man stabbed you. Well, good thing that he's a what? This are those claw marks? Yeah. Funk looks over at Tamara and she just shakes her head no at Funk. He goes, all right, great. Well, we should get out of here before more of this reinforcement comes. Also, I don't have great jurisdiction over this, so we got to go before the action. How do we help my friends? Uh, well, well, listen, we 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 gotta we gotta help ourselves before we can help them. We know where we know where they're in the mirror. We we know for sure they're in the mirror dimension. We're gonna try to figure out how to get to it. So let's okay, okay yeah okay. okay so let's let's go let's go on the van. I try, like, as I follow them to the van, I try to whisper to Tamara, thank you. And then she just gives you, like, a knowing nod. You guys are walking out through the van trying to get through all the bodies. We cut back into the mirror dimension. Y'all are trying to talk to the collector. And then, like, he just kind of, like, looks off to the side. 
and then like is scrambling through a stack of mirrors and picks up a small one that kind of looks like the size of a of like a rear view mirror for like the side of a car and starts to like try to get your attention and pointing into it because you see that behind Jamie Funk and Tamara uh, you do start to see a bunch of like hunter agents like are trying to sneak up on them and get the drop and he's like pointing to the two of you and pointing into the mirror can they hear us and, and he shakes his head no can, if i tap it can he they, shakes his head no can and I he, and he put point, my hand through and he, and he like when you're trying to do that you're trying to put your hand through and you can't do it but the collector grabs your hand and uh. once he's touching you he can push your hand through it oh hold on bring it back bring it back i put my lighter in my hand so they know it's mine and i put it back and i like i don't know what to I like wave it. Jamie, you're starting to like walk <laughs> up and like the, Tamara and Funk are talking to each other. You're, you're in a daze. Everything's weird. And then at, you see in front of you this like, cause the, you see the mirror in front of you and you're like, did a hand just, no, a hand didn't. Jamie, you're in shock. Hand didn't come out of there. And then a hand comes back through and you start to just see like, are you, are you lighting it? Or no, you just I'm thumbs it? down and I'm like trying to point behind them. It's like, like moving around a lot. Like, don't well, like, I don't uh, know. Tomorrow, Funk, I, Marlon's I in pull the, it back and I'm trying to write, I take a pin out of my bag and write Hunter behind you on it. It's like not Penny's boat. And I put it back through with the Hunter Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I shake it. I'm like. And then I have like wide open palm. And as you're doing that, like the collector just like shakes their head, and you feel uh, a long hand on your back as you start to get pushed through the mirror. Ah! But when the collector's pushing you through, you're not taking the three threshold damage. As you just start to see this is in my the head? weirdest way, like, yeah, like it's just like like I'm being born. Like you're getting pushed. It seems like there's doesn't make logical sense of like how this small of a service here, but you're getting pushed through. As you just start to see like yeah, Marlin like coming out. Hunter, 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 behind you, behind you. It's an ambush, ah! it's an ambush. And then, you, yeah, you turn around, Jamie, and you do see there's, there's like, five people. They're all in Hunter uniform. They're like, that's the one that fucking, that, that got old fucking bad man in there. I didn't have a good name. I couldn't think of one. Josh, Josh was in there. You got him. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Avenge me. Avenge me. I hate, I hate people that are different than us. Leave us alone. And he goes, nah, I mean, we're going to get you. And then you see them, like, <laughs> all start, like, to, like, pull out, like, heavy. Like, they're pulling out, like, some big-ass guns, like shotguns, assault Tens rifles. Of thousands things that of they need for their personal guns. safety. Can I try to grab the three of them and pull them in with me? You're just, you're getting pushed okay, out Okay, I'm getting right pushed now. out. Okay. You're getting pushed out. How so much, much of Marlon is out? Mo a lot of Marlon is out. Like, he's, like, he's getting pushed out. It's not like trying to, like, he's Based getting pushed from the mirror. other side. You. <laughs> An average amount of Marlon is out. <laughs> <laughs> I say also, I, I look at Jamie, I'm like, the collector is actually pretty chill. We just need to talk about this later, just so you know, don't hurt him if you see him. Okay, okay. What? Okay. Uh, I pull my gun out of yeah. my bag and I start shooting. <laughs> Roll to uh, kick some ass. Like before anyone else has. Oh yeah, yeah. You're just yeah, cause they're they're trying to do some. Oh no. Oh dear. Fuck my life. I rolled a three. Sorry, sorry. sorry I don't even God. know my tough is zero, so. Oh well. <laughs> Pour, pour one out for our agents here. I don't here. like how happy Joel looks right You like now. to start firing off wildly because like you're very disoriented from the mirror verse. Everything seems- Also my whole last yeah, couple hours. Everything seems so like, and so you're just like shooting off out of nowhere. And so what happened? You don't hit anybody, but Marlon, you take a slug in the shoulder <laughs> as you take two harm. I'm back where I was. <laughs> Ron, you see on the other side, you do see Marlin, and the collector like holds up the mirror to you. Right, and Ron shrugs yeah. and shit. Yeah, and then and the collector just grabs you, and it's a lot easier than Marlin got through. Cause it seemed like there was like a struggle, even though, and then like, it's funny too, cause like Ron's body's so big that like the mirror kind of like, the actual like plastic around it kind of like, clumps up like a soda oh, that, can that tickles yeah. soda can like left in the freezer too long and then it like shrinks back down as like ron just kind of like in just one big shove just like thunks out and then stands up and you just saw marlin get shot in the shoulder ah. funk and uh, tomorrow are going off what are you doing jamie dodo yeah are you hungry oh yeah jamie i'm real hungry Jamie's very angry. Jamie, you can uh, roll to uh, to kick some ass, and because of your monstrous move, I believe, you get to roll with uh, weird instead of tough, right? 
I believe so. Birds hungry for plate carriers. Plus weirds is 10. Everyone sees this too. You're not like really even transformed. You're just like Jamie right now. And Jamie, you start like running forward directly at one of the guys and he just starts blasting off at you. He's got a Jamie, no. <laughs> he's got a pistol with you. And then like, not as fast as like, say like, you know, the Matrix style, but like, Every shot, you just like barely are just like moving out of the way just in enough time for it to go by and you're not stopping your stride and you jump on top of him and just with your normal hands themselves are just like eviscerating this man's face and throat. And then you just like take a huge bite out of him and it's just like you hit an artery. It's just like squirting everywhere. And like, yeah, you you, two, you guys do see this happen. Uh, Ron, Holy what, fucking was shit. Was it the guy who shot me? Yeah, yeah. I, was I say... Good. Yeah, so Ron, what are you doing? Holy fucking shit, Jamie. Ah! Oh, and uh, Ron charges the other four guys. Yeah, so we're roll, doing, yeah. roll to uh, kick some ass, and I'll give you a plus one due to all the you know craziness. But that's still an eight. Yeah, so uh, Ron, uh, you're going to exchange harm, but it also kind of like... They are, sh they're shooting with pistols, so it's only gonna do like two harms, so you're gonna negate it. And but like, hey, that's my overalls. Yeah, you do. And then this is like, y'all haven't seen Ron get shot, but like, it's not, it's like just hitting Ron and then just like, crump, drop. Like, it's not ricocheting, it's just like hitting him as like Ron, like, there, you just literally go up to two of them, grab their heads, and just clunk and just like knock them the fuck out. God, I love that move. Y'all dispatch them easily, especially too. They're all very. Weirdly enough, it's not the six foot five man that is terrifying them. It's the five foot five girl in a horse shirt uh, that's scaring them. I would not. I Marlon's would not dare. laying in the van bleeding. <laughs> But it's like you, holding his shoulder. You do dispatch them fairly. You, you dispatch them like fairly quickly. Uh, there's like two that are trying to get away. I will run after one. Yeah, man, same. Ron looks looks at Jamie, nods, and they take off. And I think at this point, like Jamie is like running, and she does that weird, terrifying, like feral primal, like on all, like she's like running fast, and then as she's like. Ron's keeping pace with the Ron. Ron does your cardio. He knows how important that is. And then Jamie starts to like even though you're all were neck and neck, starts to get a lead on Ron and then just starts like fucking all fours going and then just like jumps. It's like behind a bush because we already spent too much money on the practical effect budget. <laughs> it's like a lot of, that's like the movie Altered States where a lot of it is filmed in the dark. Because yeah, yeah, the yeah. And like, he's just like this terrifying scene and then like Ron, the last guy, like kind of just trips and just kind of like, man, I just, I just, it's, you know, oh, fuck it. And like, you see him like crack a tooth in his mouth and like bite down Whoa. as he starts oh, and like he, before you can get to him, he uh, he, he, he killed himself. Oh come on, you don't even have a, this. This isn't even your name tag. Oh, that's a slur. Get out! <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, don't make me even think this. Uh, yeah, you solved my racist puzzle by killing them. Subtext: Nobody, not even once. <laughs> I did fact check uh, because my move on holy strength. Uh, nope. I get plus weird and stuff. Tough. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, run. I uh, yeah Ryan, no yeah can you I, I, use I, your magic yeah thing? no we're all we're all safe here we're all gonna be okay here we go let's see if uh, Ron tries to give cultivate me, or his give trowel. me a use magic check <laughs> really funny if it fails and you just <laughs> oh that's all right okay. eight you touch it to like Marlin and like it's weird too because once again it's like the weird little uh, hand cultivator you put like one of the pointy ends like in where the bullet hole goes ah! I know it's, it's it, just intuitive it, it goes through seems like it yeah, it, it goes through you only hear one arm this time and then like you see there was like a, a lighter hue to your to your trowel and then whenever like you use this it's not like it's not broken but like you oh, can it tell seems it's, tired. It's out of juice. Like, I mean, did the bullet go through, or is it just still lodged? No, no, like the healed? bullet went straight okay, through. Okay, the cool. bullet went straight through. So Thank that, you, Ron. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. I'm and happy to help goes, out. You, I, know, like, you told me your friends, you were the, your friend. Look, I just got this, and I did, it's never done this before, but I it was, just seems I intuitive. Like, told you what. It. You said that nothing, uh, everything's this, we all, okay. What? Listen, we gotta, we gotta go, We get, get in the van, get in the van. You guys wanna go in the mirror universe? We, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll go there. There's with, an evil dentist guy. We I gotta can't. get the collector's teeth back. There's an evil dentist. Yeah. Uh, Ron goes over to the mirror. Collector, we gotta, we gotta go get some medical supplies and sort of regroup. Uh, if I come back, I'm gonna come back to another mirror later and try and see if we can find you. 
look for something in a hotel or like, yeah. yeah the uh the collector like as you're saying that like you see like a long stringy hand reach out and it gives you one of those like little spin tops that Aww. looks like comes from like a little 25 cent machine Oh, well, thank you. I love gotcha pawns. You pick it up, and then you see, only Ron sees this, you see this vision of the collector as a child, and you see you see him at the gas station that he was asking for, and you see he goes up to his mom and asks for a quarter, and then he gets that and is, like, holding it, and he turns around to, like, show it to her, and she's gone. The collector just like does like a spinning motion with his hand, and then and then like does like a come come hither and pulls his hand back out. Gotcha. Oh, be, we'll be seeing you soon. Marlon is laid down in the van. Yeah, Ron, Marlon Ron. has just been fucking wrecked. Yeah, uh, Jamie's not doing so hot either. What's up, Jamie? I got stabbed. Y'all got a trauma kit or something in in yeah, the yeah, van? Yeah, yeah, like so, a- uh. uh Funk is driving. Tamara's like helping. Y'all have a lot of expensive equipment yeah. in here. Tamara's helping like with with you know the trauma kit and then some magic and stuff, helping patch you up, make the bleeding stop. Jamie, like you're just you're pumped on adrenaline, and then D- Donut, you, he's not even talking. But you can feel he's proud of you. You did so, you did so good. Marlon, I need to tell you something. It's it's important that if we're friends, that you know this. Okay. Are you saying this quietly to where Funk and Tamara can't hear? It doesn't. They can hear it. Okay. Okay. It's not a secret. What is it, Jamie? I saw. I saw you. I what? saw you. I saw you in the mirror. And I'm sorry. I oh, didn't mean it's, to. It's, Jamie, it's fine. I have never seen it. Oh, and what? I, I didn't. I You've didn't never mean seen to. It? And I'm sorry. Are it's you? very private. And it Are an you accident. just not? Um. And uh, <laughs> he can tell she's really upset. He kind of sits up and like leans against the van. It's like it's fine, Jamie. It's okay. I just, I'm really sorry. Why and are I, you sorry? Because it's personal. I knew I was wearing. I knew what was. There was in front of a mirror, and there's a mirror universe. And I was wearing goggles, with stuff that I knew was going to be recorded. Wait, so was it on purpose? It was not on purpose. It was not my Isn't preferred. A, there's a word for that. <laughs> there are. There are probably. There are multiple words for that. It's called voyeurism. That's cool. as funk as <laughs> Thanks, Funk. I yeah, look don't, and don't I say, I, you know. Funk, it's exhibitionism, not voyeurism. Oh, oh wait. Okay, I got, so I'm a I'm an exhibitionist then? Well, if you oh, want to be watched, <laughs> then you're an exhibitionist, I think is what. I, I also like what, to be watched. Does that count? Well, now see, they said this is. Are you both Funk? I guess you can't be two things at once. This is an interesting drive. Life is full of paradoxes. Anyways, I just I saw an opportunity qu- and I took it. Uh, Jamie, I'm sorry if it upset you. I do no, not, you I don't just, need to apologize. Im- I just, if we're friends, you should know that I, I saw. I appreciate your honesty as always, Jamie. As far as like, you know, we're all being honest. I got it. Um, uh, Jamie, did you bite that man's face off? Did I see that correctly? I think so. He made me really mad. No, sure. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying he. Just asking if that's not something you're. They stabbed me. No, and I. I see and that. And I told I'm them to leave right. us alone, and they wouldn't listen. They were yelling some racist shit. No, I mean, again, I'm not saying I think that that person needs. I mean, to, I'm glad they're I'm, dead. I'm, I'm glad they're not bothering us neither. But it's just a. I've never killed anyone before. There we go. See, that's pretty good. Uh, Marlon, you. Ever kill ever since we're all just being honest right now. We're on drugs. Yeah, Funk goes. I've definitely killed some people. And tomorrow goes. I've regrettedly. I've I've had a. But anyone I killed, like they, you know, there was a threat, so I had to. I Marlon has. Mm, Mar- people yeah, Marlon have shrugs. died, but Marlon has not necessarily done a murder <laughs> in the forms of other other very precisely worded. Sentences. How many corpses <laughs> has Marlon given to Cobb? <laughs> no, that's that's really dark. I th- well, I think if someone was... And unrelated to the question at hand, you can just find those anywhere. <laughs> if someone... There are probably a couple of cases where something went wrong and someone was, like, trying to kill Marlon, right? And he killed someone in self-defense. 100% called Cobb in to get the money, like, mm, the cleaner mm. stuff and um, John Wick and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's yeah. not, like, going around, like, Cobb. Like, you got a vehicular manslaughter or something like that, sure. Yeah. You're sleeping and that maybe under the rug, but... There's other interesting stuff that's a part of Marlon's backstory that he doesn't want to talk about. Sure, mm-hmm. no, no, that doesn't... Involving be... whatever, so... We've learned sh- enough about Marlon. Shrug is good enough, is vague enough for me for now. I'm taking... It's not a no. I'm taking... Yeah, no, I... I, I got He knows you. that Tamara can tell if he's lying. Wait, Ron still hasn't... 
I ain't, I no, I don't. I've never. I mean, yeah, I've only never, been in a fight this I mean, last week. I mean, we're still a little hazy on the what happened at the Cenobite house, if that was real or not. But that's the closest Ron's ever come to killing people. But that was also just like vegetables and zombies going to war with each other. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, Mr. He, and Mrs. Tomato. Yeah. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. <laughs> We've got some dreadful news about your stock. Do you want to? Do you want to listen to a show where there's tomato best friends that have widows that you have to bring bring a flag to their house? Also, very average dicks in it. Well, boy, I don't think Ron is average. No, no, no. I'm talking <laughs> about that. that no, not, no, no, there's no way. Things. I'm okay, talking yeah. About, yeah, that's a. But do I have a show for you? Oddity Road Show. Tomato best friends, average dicks. Not Mirror average hall dicks. Wait, if, average we're, dicks. if we're telling each other things right now i also need to tell you guys that i just did a drug oh my god what drug the dentist oxygen and then you oh air, air he's got a big tank of it's, air it's nitrous no oh. yeah you hear from the front yeah pretty good nitrous too <laughs> oh sh- i'm sorry i know i'm driving i just gotta take take the little edge off there Funk? what I Get just like your a shit bit. together. Not like while you're a, driving. When there was a bunch. We just got a text. Fucking moron. I'm just getting the. I just. I just did a little bit of nitrous, Marlin. Did you steal that off the dentist? I'm. You know, everything happened real quick. We were all panicking. Be careful. Well, he's on the road, dude. I, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair, fair, fair enough. Fair. Like tomorrow, like takes. Yeah, the I was gonna say I was gonna take it. And she's she's just like tomorrow's just like she she just looks like an aunt that decided yes I'll babysit my my niece and nephews for the weekend and it's just kind of like yo fuck this is why I do not have kids Jesus Christ as y'all are like sharing more secrets Funk is in the front he goes hey uh, circling back. Ron, Ron, you you said something about an evil dentist? Yeah, so the um yeah no I saw the stretchy guy with the grabs the heads. He's not always bad. He's he's actually a lost little boy. Someone stole all his teeth and I guess stretched him out and stuffed him in a mirror. I, I'm right. I'm just I'm kind of working with it. He, we did charades. He can't really talk because of the mm, teeth yeah, thing. Yeah 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that got the gist there. He's got all a lot of lost stuff and old, you know, like socks and just stuff you lose. You know, like, right? That kind of thing's all in there. I found his postcard. That's from our batch, which is why. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do the- see, you see Ron pulls out like another, the postcard. Another postcard. And, awesome. And listeners from last week will remember yeah. what it says. Uh, and he goes, okay, uh, well, more so, more so about the evil dentist. Um- yeah, no, I'm getting back to that. So he threw the, so when he, his eyes went white and he threw, he threw the um, Mar- Marlin's friend there into the, into the dentist office, and then uh, uh, then he was dr- he's gone. There's like a blood streak, so I think he drug him off. But uh, the collector didn't want us to go in through that mirror. He didn't think that. I mean, he, he tried to mm. stop us. He wouldn't he goes, let us do he it. Goes, Hold on, I got I got pull over real quick. He like pulls out to the side of the road, and he starts to like he pulls out like this bag, and he's going through some files. He goes, so one of the only members of the Midnight Society that didn't show up was Richard Concordus. But like he he's a dentist, but you know he has ties to the Midnight Society. But we believe he got like kicked out a while, like about three or so months ago. But I didn't see him here tonight. But you know we we didn't really have any tabs on him. There's a lot of dentists in this organization. Just three three months ago was when the first person went missing. Oh shit. Oh wait. Okay. And then and he goes so. And then people have had the. Oh, and then tomorrow goes. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, and he God. doesn't want the teeth. I want to point that out. No, just in, in no, the, no, no, in no. Collector's no. defense. They're just throwing those no, teeth. No, no, in no, 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 no. He doesn't want that. Okay, so you said the, you said the collector had his teeth taken. Yeah, it's real. Tomorrow looks. He goes. Fuck. We're dealing with blood magic. What was, was there's blood in your teeth? What's that? Any part of the body can be used to get certain things from people. Some, you know, you can, you know, there's, there's some things that, you know, some people say it's good, but like most every time it's not great. Who says blood magic is good? That people just who do blood magic, magic. No, right, just right, right, There, there right. are oh, some uses of it depending on how you use it to where you can, you know, use the someone. Sorry, I feel like blood, I got off yeah, track. What's ha- yeah, you seem okay. to know what's going on. I'm sorry. If the collector doesn't want the teeth and teeth are going missing, it does. It's not necessarily just the teeth. It's parts of bodies, and and so you. So the bot. So we've been finding the bodies. They've been just found later. The collector's being controlled by this dentist. Yeah. If he has all of his. Wait, both sets. He's he's because he's, he's, he's a little boy. He's like he had all all his teeth. Whoever this Richard Concordus is, he's controlling the collector, and he's been the one stealing everyone's teeth and collecting. Can we? We pulled over, right? Yeah. Why don't we have this conversation away from the mirror? And then, oh yeah, and then, and then she goes, oh shit, and then like she just like, ro- uh, 
Funk just like pulls off like the rear view mirror, <laughs> throws it out, and then just like punch, Wait. like kicks off the, the two side mirrors. Funk, and you're so e fucking extra, dude. It's like, no, 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 here's the thing. You gotta, very nimble. We're that gonna was have a to Jackie replace Chan though. No, no, kick. listen, this doesn't matter. If he, we can't have any reflective surfaces around. If he's controlling this thing, this is what I was worried about with the mirror dimension. He can have access to almost anywhere. And if, if what Ron is saying is true and what Tamar's saying, we, we might not have enough to take him down. I mean, you call in backup. I, yeah, I can. Try, I can. Try, I'm just. I'm just letting. You have the fucking why, why federal is, bureau of investigation. So I'm gonna. I'm here. Call the here, dentist, here is registry. The, here is, is the thing. Somebody? I can call them. Um, most of the time, I do. They do just kind of laugh at me, and they they say what I'm saying is bullshit. That's you should do less nitrous. I. Uh, I mean, it's not just nitrous. People I, don't take you seriously if you do drugs at work. Ooh, there was a lot. I want. I want to debate you I'm on sorry, this. I want to back up like. Odyssey Oddity Roadshow does not support that statement. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's Jamie. I want to debate this, but it's it has really affected my my life uh, in my personal and work. Anyways, um, I do have a lot of fringe ideas that most of the time I can't prove. I can call in backup, but if I do say a man is collected a stretched out young boy and to put him in a mirror and then stealing teeth. They're not gonna come super quick. Can't you just say Hunter came and was like killing, trying to kill civilians? Yeah, we we can. They stab me. I'll tell them. Yeah. Well, I, we yeah. We, we don't need to. Please don't talk to the FBI. I mean, you can talk like. Don't also. Turns out mass shooting and or children being kidnapped by rich guys just not stuff the FBI is really equipped to deal with. Sorry. It's not. They don't. I mean, it's like. Did a rich person lose money in this? Then okay, we're coming. You know, is the do we gotta kill? Well, the, everyone. I'm okay. The, great, I'm there. You weren't know. the Midnight Society people rich? Won't they be sad that all the rich? No, people I'm saying died? we can we can get their help and do that. But I'm saying like it's gonna be a little harder. But I'm just like this is, this is this isn't great. Tamara, how do we to fight blood magic? Do we just have to get the teeth and tongue back? I mean that's yeah we have to get that that's so we can't have control of the collector anymore. But that's not I'm. If he has enough power to get them from the collector, with as much power as the collector has, even if he's not malicious, what we're dealing with is well, a I mean, terrifying. I feel like he took him from him when he was a little boy, and not. I mean, then he sort of warped him into it seemed the collector. That's ambiguous it, to me. Just saying. Because I don't know the timeline. Merlin is of, so tired. I don't know the timeline of the teeth. I just know. Look, I fa t fair okay, enough. Yeah. So we, here, okay. We'll uh, I'm gonna ask. Do uh, Jamie wants to ask Dodo real quick. Uh, hey, Dodo, are you hearing this? Yeah, I'm hearing it. Do you know anything about blood blood magic? I don't do a lot of the magic stuff. I've eaten teeth before. I don't like them. Oh, so you don't know how to take down this evil dentist? Uh, I you know I I say if you know probably bite his throat off. Okay, well if it comes to that, it sounds like we might not be able to get close enough to his throat to bite it. You know I'm I'm gonna say this too, Jamie. It's not a problem. Jamie, are you aware that you have those conversations out loud? What? Yeah, you just said you. Uh, some muttered something about biting throats, and I mean that's I know I understand it's a sol you're working out a solution. You asked you're asking Dodo, but you realize you have that we can't hear Dodo, so it never mind. If, if we can fo we can talk about that on the on the van the van later. It's Jamie. I'll, I'll talk to you later, Dodo. Okay. He, Marlon almost said, "Jamie, have you tried talking to Dodo inside your own mind?" But then he wants to be able to hear what Jamie says, so he doesn't say it. <laughs> uh, tomorrow <laughs> he changes his mind. Tomorrow's just like okay. Um, we need to do a rest. I have a spell that can help. Uh, cloak us, and then also have another spell that can, like, you know, 30 minutes will feel like a night. We're all frazzled, we gotta come up with a plan. So, and she like waves her hand, like, over the other one, and then snaps, and you just kinda see this, like, dust fall over the van to where, like, you know, we get an outside shot of the van from the camera, it just kinda, like, disappears. Tamara just like waves her hand again, whispers in her mouth, and just like throws this word up that just says calm as you all just kind of like, feel like very soothing, deep slumber. As you begin to fall asleep after Tamara casts her spell, the camera pans outside of the van, going up into the night sky of Lebanon, Tennessee, cutting across the city to Concordus Dental. As we see a man in his mid 50s sitting in scrubs inside of a dentist's office with the body of Ronnie Flathers at his feet. Oddity Roadshow is an actual play podcast using the Monster of the Week system. I'm Paul Byron, and I played Ron the Chosen. I'm Allison Mayer, and I played Jamie the Monstrous. 
I'm Shannon Strucci, and I played Marlin the Crooked. And I've been your GM, Joel Ruiz. Music by People Need Goals, Zach Nichols, and Sarashu. With character art by Christine Marina and episode art by Sarah Gobble. For additional information, please visit our website at oddityroadshow.com. Thank you to Alex Sanchez for the cold open and the use of his screens. And thank you so much for listening to episode 11, Perfectly Average. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, it's the it's the second to last episode of the arc. I hope you enjoyed hearing us talk about Marlon's dick a lot. Because if you didn't, probably not listening to the post show credits right now. Because uh, that's all we did. Speaking of post show, we we got a post show called Audi Post Show. We record it after every single session. You've heard us talk about it. Uh, we we always play clips like this one. Uh, it's long just- boy. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough that you said that because I was say I can't stop thinking about Marlon's average penis, and so that's what's really hard for me of naming this one right now. You would hit it perfectly average. See, that was a clip. Uh, you, you heard us talk about his dick more. You can go check it out on Patreon. All the money just goes directly back in the show. It helps pay pay for stuff. It helps you know get us new art, get us more music. Uh, like for instance, uh, we we our guest uh, next episode, which I'll talk about a little more in a second. Uh, we we got a whole song for them. We got we got one uh, for for you know Richard Concordis, the spooky dentist who was behind it the whole time. Uh, you know, th- and that's because of and that's because of y'all support. It's, it's amazing how much the Patreon has grown since we started Oddity Road Show, and we really just appreciate all the support that you've given us. Uh, if you want, you go check it out at five dollars a month. You get access to the Oddity Post shows. At ten dollars a month, you get the the episodes for free and at our limited edition 25 people only level of the eternal light you can get a cool postcard we'll send you a postcard with the original show art it has some stickers some cute some cute little you know notes from the cast and and you know characters on it and we'll give shout outs to all the eternal light level members patrons like chase who's at the 20 dollars a month level the eternal light level we want to give we want to give her a shout out you know thank you Thank you so much. That's so cool, Chase. And on top of on top of being a cool patron, uh, she also makes art. It's it's really cool. Uh, you can check out her Twitter at Chase Makes Art, or you should uh, speak in a Patreon. Go check out her Patreon. Uh, go to patreon.com art of chase uh, you can you can get you can see all their cool art uh, I'm looking at it right now uh, you get for three dollars a month you get access to doodles and sketches uh, for five dollars a month you get uh, their eternal gratitude exclusive content fan request uh, ten dollars a month you get you know some more exclusive content and thirteen dollars a month which is the top tier uh, some more patreon exclusive content all of it's exclusive we love exclusivity here but in like the cool sense not in like not okay let me retake that i ex you can pay for things certain things ex- don't exclude people for things i'm so sorry chase i ruined i ruined this plug uh but she makes really good art she submitted fan art for the show uh we're a big fan of chases and you should be too so go check out uh patreon.com art of chase uh and and go help support it in the artist and you know once again thank you for supporting at the eternal light level it's uh very nice of you very nice of all of our eternal light level patrons i believe right now we're at 14 of the 25 spots uh so if you want if you want us to talk about you you gotta go hop on now get one of those spots before they're all filled up we're not opening up anymore we want to make it you know a special level and you know we like i said we send out postcards if and then every every few months we'll send out postcards and then after six months of being on it, we'll send you a cool little swag bag. You'll love it. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much to everyone that's been supporting our Patreon. Thank you to everybody who's been telling people about the show. Uh, if you haven't left us a review, please do. That would be great. Uh, we love to read it. It helps the algorithm, you know. We're just, we're we're a slave to the algorithm, and we need word of mouth. So, you know, if, you, if you've already done it, thank you. Uh, I understand Spotify doesn't allow you to leave reviews, but you can still give us a five-star rating. That'd be great. And I, and I know I talked about, you know, our next guest. Uh, who's Richard Concordis? That's right. Uh, if you're a fan of Critical Bits, uh, you'll remember Jack Packard as the Sentinel. Uh, if you're a fan of Red Letter Media uh, or The Escapist Magazine, he does a lot of stuff with them. Uh, and Jack is an amazing role player, so you should definitely check out the next episode, episode 12, Tooth Knowledge. That's going to close out Arc 2, The Mystery of the Missing Trial. And Jack Packard's coming on as Richard Concordis. Uh, well, I worked with him directly, actually, to come up with the, the monster for this arc, The Collector. Uh, he, act, on top of being an amazing role player, he's a very generous man he gave us five hundred dollars for indiegogo campaign to get the 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 unicorn uh level 
and we made this we made a monster together so jack has been a huge huge supporter of the show an amazing guest and he's gonna kill it next time uh so make sure to check out episode 12 tooth knowledge in a few weeks and once again thank you for listening to episode 11 perfectly average go tweet you know about us tweet at us at at oddity roadshow hashtag oddity roadshow just tell us how you think how you like the show if you're on discord you can join our discord there's a link in the show notes uh it's an open discord we do have some patreon exclusive channels uh, but you know it's not a patreon exclusive discord just come chat with us a lot of shit posting a lot of pictures pictures of cats uh, it's just a good fun time every once in a while we talk about the show uh so yeah thank you so much for listening once again this has been episode 11 perfectly average and in two weeks episode 12 tooth knowledge will come out see you then help 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 uh, help. Help, 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 help! Somebody help! Help! help, help, help. Oh God! Help! 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 help. 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 Somebody!